So let's talk about this flow model. Um, Mikkel uh, Csikszentmihalyi, an extraordinary positive psychology researcher that we just lost a couple of years ago, talks a lot around flow. That a key to us knowing our strengths are those moments when it is this sweet spot. This is not passively watching TV, but it's those sweet spots. And this is the actual diagram of what he talks about with it, which I think really helps. You know, I'm sure we've all had those jobs before where we are bored out of our mind because our skill level far surpasses the challenge or those jobs that our, our skill level does not anywhere near meet and we're very anxious. What he says is we're looking for magic sweet spots and flow. Couple hour activities, few minutes, not day long things that you're finding that flow. I have a lot of clients, what I will have them do is take time to think about eight or 10 times when they have felt flow in their professional life. All of these characteristics don't have to be there, but you, they're clues of when you are there. And to really think about not just what you did as the activity, but what was the circumstances around it. I will tell you, this is an extraordinarily powerful aha for you to begin to recognize when your strengths are optimized and what those conditions are. So flow is one that I, I encourage. This is another one. This is just something that I pulled together because, you know, if you've been working long enough, I'm sure a lot of you have had these situations where there are things I know all of you are probably great at in your job, everybody asks you to do, but you never want to do again, right? You're like, you've defaulted as the great person to do that, but you don't want to do. Or those things that you absolutely love, but there's other people that have more experience than you, so they always get asked to do this. So the, in this competency audit, what I encourage you to do, and you don't have to do it with every single thing of your skills, maybe look at your past year or two in work. Sometimes people do it in a PowerPoint. I've had clients actually put these things on their wall and then put their skills on uh, post-it notes. What I suggest that's really important about this is sometimes someone will say, well, I'm a good writer. I'm like, that's not, that's not what we want to say. What kind of writing? Are you like a technical writer, creative writer, press releases? Be as specific as possible to figure out where they go in here. And then this is going to help you begin to recognize what things do you really love that you want to do more of? What things do you love that you want to learn more in? And what things do you wish you were pivoting outside of? We all have things in our job that we're going to have to do. I cannot stand when someone talks about the perfect job, the dream job. There is no such thing. There is a job that you love, but there's no such thing as something dream. So there's going to always be things we don't, doesn't light us up in a job, but we want to try to be able to lean more towards the things that really light us up that we're skilled in.